Uh, but who would want to drive against Max Verstappen? Why would you want to be the second driver? Oh, I mean, Formula <laughs> One drivers are, very, are wired very, very differently. You yeah. know, they all think that they're, uh, they're the greatest things since sliced bread. <laughs> and they all believe it. And, uh, and so, honestly, I think that Yuki being that guy will, will take that challenge. Hello, and welcome back to On Track GP, where today we are discussing the five drivers who are out of contract at the end of the season. Are they going to re-sign? If they don't re-sign, where are they going to go or are they going to be dropped? And I'm joined, of course, by Richard Bradley with amazing insight. Richard, let's get straight into this today. All right, driver number one. Let's assume they're not going to re-sign for their current team. Mm. Would they get dropped or where would they go? I think the answer quite clearly for number <laughs> one with Lewis Hamilton is he's not going to get dropped. I don't think he's going to get dropped. <laughs> I think it will be a formality. Where do you think... Assuming he, he wouldn't stay at Mercedes, yeah. where would be the next place that Lewis Hamilton might be able to go? Uh, I think that he would try make a big effort to go to Ferrari. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's Ferrari's just got this aura, this legacy about them. Mm. You know? And every, every driver who gets to Formula One would be lying if they said they didn't want to drive for Ferrari one day. And yeah, I, I can't see anywhere else except there. Do you think he will stay at Mercedes though? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, we see this every year with Lewis. Yeah. It, dra you know, it drags on to the end. They know each other so well. It's just, it's, it's always a formality. Yeah. and financial maybe as well yeah of course of course but yeah they'll 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 find a way yeah i agree i think look lewis hamilton he's not going to go anywhere no. and there's no possibility whatsoever that he is not having a seat yeah. in formula one <laughs> but let's get on to maybe the other end mm. uh here with logan Sargent. yeah first thoughts uh he's out of contract at the end of the season what happens to him uh i think he'll be dropped and you know the problem. The, th the problem is now we're seeing with Logan. I think that the uh, the reaction to his crash at the weekend was very telling. Mm -hmm. And if you actually looked at the steering wheel after the crash, it did say BBW failure, brake by wire. So there was a mechanical failure which mm -hmm. actually caused his accident. But you saw from his body language, his demeanour, that is a guy who is completely shot of confidence. And when you get into that spiral, it's unbelievably difficult to come back out of it. And he hasn't really done enough to prove, uh, you know, against Albon. Albon's thrashed him, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think he'll be dropped. It's so telling because the only real marker that you can have in Formula One is against the guy that you're in the same car as. Yeah. And Albon is doing so well. And Sargent, unfortunately, isn't doing quite as well. So yeah, yeah I think I agree. I don't think we'll see him in a Formula One car uh, mm. next year. This is a more interesting one, because mm. I think this could be a bit more in the middle. Yuki Tsunoda, he's out of contract for Alpha Tour at the end of this year. Yeah. What happens to Yuki Tsunoda? I think that he'll be a very strong contender for the Aston Martin seat. For lot for to take over yeah. from Lance. Because remember, Honda oh. are going to be supplying Aston Martin's engines, yeah. and he's obviously an HRC driver. Yeah. And so it just makes logical sense. And we, we've already heard the rumors that there are discussions ongoing. Interesting. Sure. I, I, I think that will happen maybe if it not next year, 100% the year after. There's also have been rumblings, which I think maybe is a little step too far at the moment, but rumblings that he could be in the Red Bull second seat in the next few years. I mean, he, the guy's performing. The guy's doing really well. Okay, he didn't have the best end result, but he was doing a really good job in uh, in Zandvoort. Yeah. You know, he's been doing very well lately. He's a spa, he was doing very well. Um, in what is the worst car on the grid? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know, he, he, he's making a good case for himself. Interesting. Uh, but who would want to drive against Max Verstappen? Why would you want to be the second driver? Oh, I mean, Formula <laughs> One drivers are, very, are wired very, very differently. You yeah. know, they all think that they're, uh, they're the greatest things since sliced bread. <laughs> and they all believe it. And, uh, and so, honestly, I think that Yuki being that guy will, will take that challenge. Okay, interesting. Whether he'd actually beat him is another story, but Yuki would definitely be quite happy to take the challenge. I mean, I, I, you've got to appreciate the um, the ambition. Yeah, but, of course. <laughs> but I think he'd, he'd, have, he'd have his work cut yeah, out against, against Max. Uh, Zhou Guan Yu, also out of contract at the end of the year. Mm. What happens to Zhou Guan Yu? I, I could see Zhou going to Williams. Oh, interesting, I taking could, Logan's I seat. I could see him taking Logan's seat. Because, I quite like that. Because we know that Williams, you know, obviously we've got the new management, but historically they've always been a team that's needed a bit of external budget. Yeah. Joe's situation with Alpha, obviously we've got a few rumours going around now about that, but the, um, you know, Alpha, Alpha going towards Audi and everything, obviously the Chinese economy is struggling quite a bit at the minute. I think that's been well documented in normal news. And I think, I expect that's what's uh, hurting Joe's negotiations mm. at the minute. Uh, it's, there's a lot of uncertainty there. Um, but, you know, I expect that Williams is a team where if they get rid of Logan, then um, 
then yeah, Joe, Joe is a logical option. Yeah, he'd be a good fit. I hadn't, I hadn't yeah. thought about that, but I, I actually quite like that a lot. Mm. I don't think he's done bad enough to not get a uh, seat no, at all. Absolutely not. I think, he, I th honestly, we all forget the level that Valtteri Bottas was at. He kept Lewis Hamilton very, very honest, mm. and Joe is keeping Bottas very honest as yeah. well. So, no, I think I, I, he deserves to be in Formula One. Nice, interesting. And last but not least, quite an interesting one, this. Mm. Out of contract at the end of the season is Daniel Ricciardo. This is an interesting one. Um, because he, there's, a, there's a possibility, there's an argument that yeah. he has nothing, yeah. there's an argument he has uh, Alpha Torre, and then there's an argument that he's the number two in the Red Bull seat. So yeah. it's, it's completely wide open. My, uh, my estimations, I mean, it's very difficult to say now because obviously we've got races coming up, mm -hmm. but I, I am expecting him to be in the second Alpha Torre seat. Okay, I, I think I think that that's quite likely. Alongside Yuki? Um, no, I don't think so. I don't. I don't know. As I said, I think Yuki was probably. You know, there's 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 a good chance he could go to Aston Martin mm -hmm. when. You know, the other thing is you have to remember there's rumours about Alpha Tower being uh, being taken over by Hugo Boss, and you know Daniel Ricciardo with his marketing capability and yeah. you know, his reputation around the world, he'd be a very good fit for Boss. Very interesting. So I can see I can see that coming off. I. Simply from a selfish point of view, I would love to see him in the second seat in Red Bull, man. I really, <laughs> really would. And Perez is doing himself no favours to keep Absolutely. that seat. I think I think it's very possible that seat could be open. Well, at the end and of the also season. don't forget the way Liam Lawson is going. It's pretty much a guarantee he's going to be in an Alpha Tauri seat. At yes. One point. Yes, very, very interesting. Well, look, those are the five drivers that are out of contract uh, at the end of the season. Let us know in the comments where you think they're going to go or if they're going to be dropped whatsoever. Maybe you have a controversial opinion. You think Lewis Hamilton's going to be dropped. Not sure I'd agree <laughs> with you, but you're welcome to your opinion. Uh, so, yeah, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much. We are On Track GP. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you very, very soon.